So like any choking situation, it is time critical. If you've got a baby that you suspect is choking, what we need to do is get their head lower than the rest of their body as quickly as possible and hopefully gravity will help. If that doesn't help on its own, we're going to have to do some back blows. Okay, so we're going to apply five back blows right in the centre, uh, sorry, in between the shoulder blades. One, I'm going to check. Make sure you support the head and neck. Two, three, four, five. Okay, if that hasn't worked, we're going to turn the baby over and again get the head as low as possible and we're going to do chest thrusts. So we're going to put our fingers one level below the nipple line and we'll do one chest thrust, check the mouth, two, check the mouth, three, check again, four, five. If that's not been successful, that is one cycle. If someone hasn't already, make sure that they've called the ambulance and they've got a defib. And we're going to turn the baby back over again and apply the back blows. Again, up to five, checking after each one. And then back to your chest thrusts, checking after each one. Now hopefully that will work, if it doesn't, um, the baby stops breathing so they'll probably go very floppy so all the arms and legs will flop and they would have lost colour in their face and maybe have blue tinges in the lips. We're going to place them on a hard surface and we're going to start CPR. We're going to start with 30 compressions just because there's no point in doing the breast at this stage because we know it's not going to go in because they've got a blockage, so 30 compressions. And just before I do the two rescue breaths, I'm going to have a little look in the mouth. If there's anything that's visible and easy to reach, I'm going to take that out and then do the two rescue breaths. If one or even both of them aren't successful, I don't attempt to do them again. I'm going to go straight back to my compressions. And hopefully, now that the body's starting to relax, all the muscles are relaxing, that object will move. Or even by me doing the compressions, it will move and the breaths will eventually be successful. So we're going to keep doing that at a rate of 30 compressions to two breaths until our ambulance and defib comes. Um, and we're told that the ambulance is going to take over.